In this lesson, I'm going to provide you with a brief overview of Visual Studio Express, the program we'll be using to write our C-sharp programs in for this course. So let's go ahead and get started. Click your Start button and either select Microsoft Visual C-sharp 2010 Express if it's available, or go to All Programs, open up Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express, and you'll find Visual C-sharp there, and then click. After a brief splash screen, it'll take us to the Start page. On the Start page, really there's two things we're interested in. The selection for New Project and the selection for Open Project. And also, I guess we might also want to be able to look at Recent Projects. You'll notice I have projects here from previous work. Mostly we're going to be interested in starting a new project. So click on the New Project link and it will open up the New Project page. You notice that we have a list of six different types of projects we can start. In general though, for this course, we'll only be doing console applications. And that is the default choice. It'll be selected automatically. So you can select console application. Then you need to come down to the bottom where it says name and you need to provide your project with a name. What you don't want to do is stick with the default name, which will be console application followed by a number, depending on how many previous default names it finds. So you could have application 1 through application 200. And you don't want to do that because it'll be hard to know what's in that file or in that project with such a generic name. So always give your projects names that have some sort of meaning to you so you can keep up with what's in them. So we'll call this VSE Overview for Visual Studio Express Overview. And then we'll click OK to open the project. When the project opens, you'll see that the screen is really divided into four sections. Of course, on the top, you have your menu and icon bars, just like with any Microsoft application. If you look over on the right, you'll see the Solution Explorer pane, or window, however you want to call that. And this is where all of the different parts of a project are displayed. So when you need to access the properties, or the references, or the program itself, which is what we have shown here, you'll use Solution Explorer to do that. In the middle of the screen is our program editor. This is where we'll enter our program. As you see, it already provides us with a template. We'll talk about that in a future lesson. And then below that is the error list, or where error messages will go when we make errors in the compilation or even in the running of our program. We'll be talking a lot more about errors. You'll notice that back up in the coding part, you have two drop-down menus. One will list the program itself, and then this other one will provide different parts of the program. We won't be working with these drop-downs too often. We'll generally be working with just the main screen or the main programming editor. So those are the main parts of Visual Studio Express. As we go through the course, I'll be telling you more about what the different menu options do and the different icons on the icon bar but we don't need to look at those until we begin writing programs. So we're going to save that for a future lesson. And as I mentioned earlier, we will be learning more about Visual Studio Express as we go through the course. So let's wrap up this overview of Visual Studio Express now and let's move on to the next lesson where we'll begin talking about how to enter and run your first program.